All rise.
who gives this woman to be wed? All right, amen. You may be seated. Dear ones, family and friends gathered here to celebrate this beautiful occasion with this beautiful couple and all their beautiful family and friends. Before we proceed, we want to invite the uh, guest of honor. And the guest of honor, not just today on your, your, the day of your wedding, but the guest of honor in your home and in your heart and in this marriage. The one that's going to keep it spicy and fun and alive, Jesus himself. Let's pray. Loving Heavenly Father, Lord, I ask in Jesus' name that you would be here to solemnize, to honor to sanctify this, this special union between two beautiful souls. Lord, I ask that you would not only be here in the moment, but that, Father, from every moment on, it's what God has brought together, let no man separate. May you keep this couple together. May you keep their love for each other alive and well. And Lord, it's an honor for us to witness what you're doing between Michael and Samantha. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> All right, we're going to have... Brother Mark, do the closing prayer since I took the opening prayer. Forgive me. It's okay. I'm a pastor. So, Michael and Samantha, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, a moment in my life that I will never forget. It wasn't the most incredible moment, but it was a moment that taught me something uh, about driving, of all things, right? How, many, how long have you had your license? Have you had a license a long time? Do you like to drive? I do. Do you ever speed? <laughs> do you ever get into such a hurry that you forget to do other things and you just get in the car and you go? It's happened to me too. A long time ago when I was in graduate school, I got in the car and I was late to a test and I drove to the university, but before I could get to the university parking lot, an officer in Michigan pulled me over. Now I failed to put my seatbelt on. I was in such a hurry, there was so much going on in life, I forgot to put that little seatbelt on and I thought, no big deal, you know what I mean? I'm a college student, hopefully he'll forgive me. But do you know what happened? The man said, said I'll, be, I'll be right back, I know you're in a hurry. He comes back and he comes back with a ticket and the ticket was more money than I had. And he gave me the ticket and he said, the reason I'm giving you a ticket today, son, is because I've been to a lot of accident scenes, but I've never had to cut a dead body out of a seatbelt before. And I don't ever wanna see you in that condition. And I've never forgotten what he told me. And every time I put my seatbelt on, it takes me back to that moment where he reminded me that people who are in their seatbelts have a greater chance of life. Well, I'm not an officer, but I'm, I'm a preacher. And so I'm going to translate this to this marriage. I have yet to see a couple where the husband and the wife both remember to put their seatbelt on in this marriage, where they give God the permission to surround you, to fill you, and to bless you. I have yet to see one of those couples fail. In fact, I see them at uh, year one, year two, year three. I dedicate their babies. I mean, I see, I see generational blessings through couples where the husband and the wife commit to, to every day in this marriage, spend some time with Jesus. Invite him into your heart. Because, Michael, do you know Samantha? Were you there at the moment of her birth? You weren't. Now, you know her, but you've only come for a portion, right? And you like what you see, and you say, I, want, I don't ever want to leave her side. Amen? Now, Samantha, you love Michael, but were you there at the moment of his birth? But guess who was? Guess who was? God, the author of this book. He was there when Michael was born. He was there when you were born. And every moment of every day, in the best days and the worst days, he's never felt differently toward you. He loves you. He has a plan for you. And in fact, I want to talk to you about, there's a lot of types of love out there, but 1 John 4, 16 says God is love. And then the Bible in 1 Corinthians 13 describes it. It says, love is patient. In this version, it says, love suffers long. Now, we don't want you to suffer in this marriage, amen? But you're going to have to exercise patience. The first quality of godly love is patience. Now, for all your family and friends here who got here at 3 o'clock for the wedding, did you exercise some patience? Yeah. They love you, amen? amen? But that's what it takes. That's what it's going to take in this marriage. It's going to take the first quality of love is patience. And love is kind. 
Love does not envy, does not parade itself, is not puffed up, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in the truth. Listen to this. If this is the kind of love that you have in your heart, Samantha, for this man, what a blessed man he is. Amen? When, when, uh, when he's late, that's all right, because you got patience. Amen? When, when you're not sure what's going on, you think no evil. You, you, you don't behave rudely. And, 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 and Michael, when you, in the future, when you're dealing with your beautiful wife, Samantha, when you do not parade yourself, when you do not seek your own, when, when it comes down to who gets the TV remote, you're like, honey, you choose. Who does the dishes? I got this, right? When you serve each other with this kind of love, listen to what the Bible promises. This type of love bears all things. I'd like to tell you that the future of your life will be all cupcakes and roses, but you're too old to know. You already know, amen? You know that's not the way this world works. There are going to be challenges, but you're better suited if you do these challenges together, amen? Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. This type of love never fails. Just like that officer reminded me, I've been an officer a long time, but I've never had to cut a dead body out of a seatbelt before. I'm going to remind you as the many years of my marriage, my, my marrying couples like yourself, I have never once seen a couple get married, stay with Christ, and experience nothing but the best of what God has for you. Amen? That type of love never fails. Now, here's, that's the good news, but here's the bad news. Bad news is, Michael, that love doesn't start in your heart. Bad news is, Samantha, that love doesn't start in your heart. That love starts where? In the heart of God. And unless you go to the heart of God on a daily basis, you might find yourself running low on patience, you know, kindness, and the things which keeps marriages strong. I, I, I love you. I want to see you succeed. I want to hear years from now. I want to hear all the blessings. I want, I, want to, I want to see pictures on social media. I want to see you folks in the Caribbean with your friends and your family. I want to see you in the States. I want to see you in Europe. I want to see amazing, beautiful things that God has for your future. Amen? And to see your smiling faces just like I see them today. Is that your desire? <laughs> Amen. Well, with that being said, with no further ado, are you ready to exchange your vows? All right. Michael, repeat after me. I, Michael. Let me get you a mic. Would everybody like to hear him? <laughs> Here you go. I, Michael. I, Michael. Take thee, Samantha. Take thee, Samantha. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedding wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. That's a pretty comprehensive promise, sister. <laughs> Repeat after me. I, Samantha. I, Samantha. Take thee, Michael. Take thee, Michael. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. For in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Sounds to me like you folks are equally, equally yoked. <laughs> now, I believe there's some rings. All right. All right. Let's have Michael go first. Michael, go ahead and receive the ring. And as you're putting it on Samantha's finger, repeat after me. Sure. Beautiful rings for a beautiful couple. Michael, repeat after me. Sure. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. A circle unbroken. A circle unbroken. A token of my everlasting trust and devotion. A token of my everlasting trust and devotion. Amen. Thank you. It's perfect. Perfect fit. All right. So Samantha, do you have a ring? Go on. Now, God forbid should happen to you what's happened to me. I can't get my ring off. Maybe with some soap. After 19 years of marriage, it's, it's on there. All right, ready for this? Yes. 
With this ring, with this ring, I thee wed, I thee wed, as a symbol of my love and commitment, as a symbol of my love and commitment, I give you this ring, I give you this ring, a circle unbroken, a circle unbroken, a token of my everlasting trust, a token of my everlasting trust, and devotion, and devotion. <laughs> it, it, it's going to go on, I believe. Have faith, sister. No, we got this. <laughs> Somebody run to the bathroom, grab some soap. No, I'm kidding. All right. Well, dear ones, by the power vested in me by the state of Florida and in the eyes of your family and friends, and most importantly, Almighty God, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Now, give me a minute, Michael. You may kiss your beautiful bride. It's with great pleasure that I introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Hamilton. Friends and family, the bride and groom, thank you so much for attending this beautiful wedding. Thank you so much for supporting the lovely couple. And I do believe there's a celebration to follow, so I'm sure you have the details. Enjoy it. You look lovely. God bless you.